There are a number of ways that developers are learning how to code nowadays. So you have developers that are self-taught, you have developers who went to a boot camp, and then you have developers who went through a more traditional approach, like where they went to a university, got a computer science degree, and then they learned development after that. So you have all kinds of different ways that you can learn. And one of the common issues that I've heard from students through the years is that they say, they feel like if they're learning from a boot camp experience or if they're learning from online tutorials, it feels like they're walking through tutorials and they know how to copy and paste what the instructor is telling them. But then afterwards, if they were asked to build out a real application, they'd have no idea where to start. And so that's what I want to talk about in this video. And the title of this video is going from copy and paste to comprehension. And the first thing that I want to say is that if you feel like you're at a stage where you're just copy and pasting code, so you're copy and pasting code from Stack Overflow, from tutorials, from anything like that, do not worry. That's actually perfectly natural. And that is a very natural stage of the learning process. And so I want you to first feel that that's normal. Someone like myself, or if you see any other developers and you think that we just learned it magically, that is not the case. And so if you feel like you're just copy and pasting right now and you're not really understanding the concepts, do not worry. That's all part of the learning process. And so I want to take a look at a real world analogy. This is something that happened with me years ago and it helped me understand a little bit more about learning in general, especially as it related to coding. So when I was growing up, I did not have a real handy kind of experience. I couldn't go and repair something in the house. I couldn't repair sheetrock. I didn't really have any kind of building experience whatsoever. I didn't grow up in a family where that was prioritized. So I had no idea how to do anything really when it came to being handy around the house. And then I bought a house. This was in my mid-20s or so. And it needed to pretty much be redone completely from scratch. And so my father-in-law was a very successful architect and he walked through and he showed all of the different things that had to be done. It was like he was looking at the house and he already saw what the end goal needed to be and all the steps that needed to be taken in order to get there. I didn't see it at all. So what we, what we did as a family is we just started rebuilding the house and started renovating it. Now, I started with no knowledge of how to do that whatsoever. So what I would do is I'd be given some kind of task. It was usually a pretty menial task because they didn't really trust me to do very much, which they shouldn't. But what they would do is he, the my father-in-law would show me how to frame a wall and he would first do it himself and then he would tell me to come over and do it and I didn't have any idea on any of the details I didn't know what was going on I didn't know how foundations worked in the house I didn't know the way that electricity had to work or the way the wall had to be formed so all I could do was watch him and see exactly what he did and then go and try to duplicate that myself and that's how it started and that went on for months and months and that entire time I still had very little knowledge on what was actually happening behind the scenes but what started that to happen is the more time I spent remodeling that house the more time that I spent practicing and following his example all of a sudden things started to make sense I started to see how different parts of the house how they were all connected and then I didn't even need to follow him in a step-by-step -step kind of approach I'd still go ask him for advice many times but I started to build up a mental model for understanding how it worked now with coding, it's the exact same thing. If you feel like you are in a stage where all you're doing is you're watching a screencast and three quarters of the things that they're saying don't even make sense and you're just following along and sometimes it's hard to even follow along and you'll make typos and what ends up working on their screen doesn't work on your screen, that is perfectly fine. That is exactly what happens in any kind of thing that you're ever going to learn just like it happened to me when i was learning how to remodel a house 
it took time and it also took a lot of repetition so what my main encouragement for you to be is one don't get discouraged if you feel like you're not learning the underlying concepts right away that will come that comprehension will come that's a reason why this guide is called from copy and paste to comprehension you're not going to be able to build up that mental model right away that is going to take time and it's going to take repetition it's the same reason why I recommend to all the students that have gone through any of my courses that they need to be coding every single day they need to be building out new applications and learning the topics from different angles so that also is something that I really try to encourage so if you watch a tutorial or you're going to a boot camp and you hear one concept and it doesn't make any sense to you that's fine go and see seven different tutorials from other instructors on that topic and keep going until it makes sense there are so many times where I've had a concept that I wanted to learn and the first time I heard it it sounded like a foreign language to me and I've been doing this for over 15 years and it, there are still things that make no sense to me the first time I hear them and so what I've learned what helps me out the very most is by going in hearing it from some other angle so I'll go and say it's a new feature in react and I don't understand it the first time I read it in the update so then I'll go watch a tutorial on someone who discussed that topic and maybe they gave an example many times that example didn't make any sense to me either so I go and I hear it a third time and sometimes a fourth and a fifth and I keep going until it actually makes sense and until I can repeat it myself. So if that's a stage where you're in, where you feel like you're just copying and pasting things, you're not understanding the concepts, do not worry, do not lose heart. What you're gonna be able to do is be able to take those concepts, repeat them over and over again, and sooner or later, they are gonna start to make sense. What I found is that the very best developers what really marks them is they refuse to give up they will continue to repeat and to find out and discover new ways of learning things and they refuse to not understand a concept so make sure that that's the attitude and the mindset that you have is that you don't get discouraged when you hear something and it doesn't make sense to you if that was the way i lived i would just live in depression all day every day because every single day I hear something that I've never heard before and it doesn't make any sense so what my approach is is if it doesn't make sense the first time I just make sure that I dive deeper into it until I do start to build up that mental model and still until it starts to make sense so that would be my top advice for you if you feel like you are locked into that stage of where you don't really understand the concepts yet you're simply going through and repeating what others are doing that's natural that is the first step I, my advice would be work through that go through it repeat it learn from other people who are discussing the same topics until it makes sense and then the one thing I will promise you is after you've done that you've done it enough times you'll look back at that concept that at first looked like a foreign language and didn't make any sense to you and it's all gonna click and you're gonna be surprised it took you that long to understand it in the first place